Okay, guys. Hello, it's me, Andrea. I'm here with my pick a stick palette challenge for the page for July. So, and the first step is use a sponge brush to make random marks, and that's what I do here with this sponge. I dab it into gesso and put it onto the page and turn it slightly. Uh, let that dry and then I go over with ink. It's the second step using, that's why I do. And you create a bit of a resist with that. It's a bit blotchy, but at this stage it doesn't really matter. So and this is step three, at hand on machine stitching. And what I did was, I didn't. I was so lazy to get my machine out, so that's why I use here this, this little... Um, what is it? Burlap's burlap thread and yeah, use that. And I stitched down three lines very, very quick. And of course, I had already something in my mind because all the steps I had a look at, and there were magazine cutouts and stuff. And I chose one magazine cutout I have for ages, and I wanted to use that, so that's why that is quite uh, useful now. So the fourth step is draw big. Um, I wasn't up for drawing something big, so I drew down the word big and I will uh, keep the letters in white, go all around here with the Sharpie to get the background black. Oh, I will use that one for later. So this is already the fifth step, is use something from a game. I can't tell you what type of game that was. I, found it in a thrift store and there are a lot of other stuff with it but I haven't got a clue how to play that and I don't mind because I used all the stuff for different things but I make this marks with it so this is the ca uh, magazine cut out I kept for ages I, I found it quite funny with this burglar and um, I will cut it out even a bit more detailed and I glue it down with uh, liquid um, acrylic um, thingy. Yeah, it's not gel, liquid medium. So, and it's um, from a newspaper type of magazine, so it is a bit smearing the ink on it. That's already step six. No, that's step seven. Use a straight edge, and that's what I do here. The magazine cutout was step six. Step seven says use a straight edge. Okay do it with my sharpie and that's um, the eighth step and that's print print and attach something from your computer um, this is a print from of course from my computer but the picture is from uh, from um, this um, thingy page I'm registered and paying a fee in the year an annual fee uh, to get some images yeah, I always forget that name of that thing. <laughs> Can't tell you at the moment. So sorry. Yeah, you have quite a few of these internet um, services. They provide you with some royalty-free images. So this is um, step nine, and it says make a textured stamp tool by gluing string to cardboard. And that's what I do here. The string was a bit too thick, so I took it apart, as you could see at the beginning. And I glue it down with my heat, uh, hot glue gun here, and produce three circles. That's the easiest thing to do. I could have done lines, or but I thought circle is exactly what I need. And I um, use here a mixture of gel medium and um, paint. And that's step 10 already. It's the last step and says use a gel medium or gesso to create a resist image. Of course now I created a resist image but what the point? I'm not working over it so... <laughs> but I did. I did as I was told so I'm a good girl. Okay now I'm using of course my words that will be more but first I I thought, you know, of course, it's only a pick a stick challenge page, but even though I can't stand it if it's not properly made. So I'm cleaning up all my lines here, 
and uh, go over here with my black acrylic paint it doesn't matter after 10 steps when you haven't finished you don't have to be finished it doesn't say that you have to stop so I'm going on I'm using my white Posca here to go in to the spaces and clean the lines up even more and then I have my burglar behind no he's not behind he's in front of the bars but you know you get the the picture I'm trying to to uh, show you here and you will see the words um, this guy on top he is a burglar and he's risking of course going to prison and that guy on the bottom he is free as a bird you know on this hill and he's happy and having a free view on the sky okay so I'm using here my new toy I always wanted to have this label maker what makes this embossed um, letters I love it you know it's so much more vintagey I love that and I always wanted to have it you won't get that somewhere in 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 this um, office um, supply stores also no the only way you can get it nowadays is via the internet so I got it from Amazon it's not expensive they are pretty cheap so a bit of shading here with my grey alcohol marker and in the sun, the suns, down there the circles, I work with some of my Stabilo woodies in uh, yellow and orange to, yeah, it's, you're free and when you're free it feels like more than one sun exists, doesn't it, you know, that's a big mistake and it's your choice. That's the close-up already, so it, I really had a lot of fun this month. And you can join us every time. Have a look at Pick a Stick Facebook group. I will put a link down below into the description box. Follow us. It's really yeah. fun. So that's it from my side. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up and a comment. Even That would be fantastic. I thank you a lot for watching and I hope I see you soon with my next project. Have a fantastic time, guys. Bye-bye.